Hello guys. So here is my setup. It's a 16 horsepower generator. Uh, natural gas hookup going to the house and the propane tank and the gasoline. Okay. So you wanna know the truth about running your regular gasoline generator on a natural gas? Well, the truth is, it doesn't work, okay? Running on a propane, it could work. Well, okay, I'm talking about the big generator. The small generators, yes, they are better. But if you have, uh, let's say, 5,000 or more, 5,000 watts or more, no. Just save yourself a time. Oh, and I forgot, my dryer is a load test. Okay, so, number one. It's not easy, the conversion itself is actually not easy. Um, I've done a little simplified conversion, or maybe not exactly simplified, but I have the Garretson regulator here, and uh, I uh, redrew the carburetor which uh, the hose is actually going straight to the carburetor right here uh, and then a natural gas hookup right now as you can see this is not hooked up but I like to run it on a natural gas and it's not working well why is it not working? you're gonna be actually surprised once you get uh, your kit for a couple hundred dollars or so it's not gonna be very easy to um, install it and it's not going to be exactly easy to run it well once you get uh, the uh, proper mixture mixture here the air and uh, well, especially you cannot even use the choke because everything is in front of the choke with the donut thing I, at least I can use the choke here as a regulator but anyway you will if you will end up running this generator on a natural gas, which is probably uh, the most homeowners home would like to do that, right? Who, who want to put up with storing uh, the uh, propane? Then uh, you will get the generator running, but you cannot running anything out of the generator. Can I tell you why? Simple. The generator is not built for it. You know, if you have an old piece of junk, like I got this one for $50 on the Craigslist, and uh, I cleaned the carburetor and cleaned it a little bit, and it was running fine. I mean, it is running fine on the gasoline, and it's actually a very strong generator. I can run a lot of things on it, on the gasoline. But once I hook this up to the natural gas, forget it. Instead of 16 horsepower, I'm gonna get probably eight horsepower. That's one thing. Another thing, all these guys on YouTube with those huge hoses going into a generator, that's overkill. Number one, the natural gas is just 2 psi. Okay? It's 2 psi, the pressure. You can use anything you want. Garden hose is rated 80 or 100 psi. Uh, the compressor hose is rated 200 psi all these one inch hoses it's overkill you don't need a one inch hose for 10 horsepower generator you need half inch hose maybe okay so anyway let's go back to the to the uh, generator use uh, and, and uh, natural gas um, I would say for those people who will buy like the Generac 8000 EXL or uh, Champion 9000 uh, watts and then they convert it to the natural gas that's that's a really really bad idea just add a couple hundred bucks and just buy standby Generac or um, whatever color or, or something a, nat a natural gas generator 
because this is gonna be this is gonna be a nightmare you will get it running you know if you if you're um, really good with this with this stuff you will get it running uh, fairly easy but I show you what's gonna happen when you're just gonna put a simple uh, not hair dryer but <laughs> dryer on the generator okay and this is 16 horsepower generator so stand by and watch and by the way once you get this mixture adjusted properly then you should be able to, to start it with a pull and uh, this is not exactly uh, you know very easy uh, adjustment so I got it rough adjustment here so it might give me a little hard time but uh, let's see I'll do my best okay let's set it right here yeah that's fine all right let's see turn on the gas in the house This is the voltmeter. Turn this on. Little choke. And obviously, it's not gonna listen to me. Let's give it a little more choke. It's gonna be a little bit rich. For a start. Okay, so this is what you're gonna end up with. You're gonna end up with useless machine. The dryer is about uh, 2,500 watts probably. It's rated to uh, 3,000, but it's not 3,000. It's about 25, probably. And uh, this generator is rated uh, 65 or so, and it cannot take it it cannot take it on the natural gas now I'm gonna turn on the gasoline okay I'm gonna give it a little choke maybe a little more let's see
I'm just gonna shut it. I was gonna let it run out of gas, but I'm just gonna shut it. But anyway, running on gasoline, it's a no problem. And you can adjust this mixture all you want, get a bigger hose, which I actually had before. More gas supply, it's not gonna make any difference because the carburetor is not built for it. The carburetor cannot take more air you will actually choke it if you're gonna put more uh, gas in it, more natural gas That's, I'm talking about the natural gas right now you're just gonna choke it pretty much but it's not built for the intake the amount of mixture of natural gas and the air so it's not going to work unless you're gonna just run very little thing, uh, very little load of it. So uh, I would say, uh, let's just sum it up. Of course, the very, very good advantage of it is that you don't have to worry about the carburetor. You don't have to worry about the gasoline go bad. You don't have to change the oil that, that often. You don't have to winterize the generator, actually. Um, there is like, quite a few advantages, you know, storing the gasoline and stuff like that. But the big disadvantage is it's gonna just uh, lower the horsepower of your generator pretty much uh, a halfway. So it's not actually a good idea. Now, if you want to run it over the propane, the propane behaves much better. If you're somewhere in the woods or you don't have a natural gas connection and you just want to store a couple, few tanks of the propane and in the emergency run it over the propane, I would say yes. On the propane, you can actually run it almost like on a gasoline because the propane is actually much richer than uh, natural gas but uh, natural gas no no just use a gasoline and save you save the headache and uh, if you have a couple hundred dollars extra just buy standby gas natural gas generator which is actually made for the intake of natural gas that would be pretty much uh, my advice. Um, make the best out of it. But, um, you know, watching all those people on YouTube uh, running the generator on a natural gas and converting left and right, uh, nobody ever put a load on it. Uh, so, be very careful. Okay, good luck.